Nicholas Margiotti, aka Pokereb, is no stranger on this channel. As I previously talked about how his company, Discount Deals LLC, repackages and rebrands Pokemon products and rigs the odds of ever receiving a vintage pack. I've also talked about how his company is running an illegal online casino that allows children to gamble and targets children with their products. But today, we're going to talk about a situation that's worse than unregulated gambling. And that is how Nicholas Margiotti has been allegedly protecting a predator that's been using PokeRev's brand to prey on minors. Slow bros and ho-ho's, welcome back. Let's get started. On April 23rd, 2023, Mary Wobb posted on Twitter, now X, that Nicholas Margiotti, aka PokeRev, was protecting a predator and that the reason why she was bringing it to light was to hopefully put a stop to it before there were more victims. Mary goes on to explain that it all started around September and October of 2022, when her daughter, age 15 at the time, started messaging one of PokeRev's moderators, with messages showing support for PokeRev. And what started off as a friendly conversation about cards and collecting soon turned into a nightmare for their family, as the moderator started having inappropriate conversations with their daughter. Mary then reveals that the predator goes by Blastoise, as in Danny D, aka Blastoise underscore 93, and she had found out when her older daughter discovered how far things had escalated between Danny and her younger sister. Now, Mary went to the police, who were unable to help due to Danny living outside of their jurisdiction, and with not wanting Danny to get away with what he had done, Mary decided to contact Nick. Mary states that she had sent three emails providing photo and video evidence, each explaining the situation. However, there was no response from Nick. So she tried messaging him during a live stream and asked him to check his email. And again, no response. So the family decided to create an Instagram account and tagged PokeRev in the post with evidence. And that's when Mary knew PokeRev knew what had happened. Because according to Mary, PokeRev didn't respond to that post and untagged himself from it. So feeling like she was left out of options, Mary starts to blame herself over what Danny had done, claiming she could have done more. And that Nick was partially at fault because of how he handled the situation. Mary ends the post stating that someone did reach out to them with some information. Now I believe that someone was either Michael Baristo, aka Rattle Pokemon, or Ryan Lipinski, aka Cool Trainer Ryan, as both have reached out to her, asking her to DM them. Now, these two are close friends with Nick, Ryan even more so. We then find out that Mary was told that Danny handles Nick's email, which feels like a load of BS to help take the heat off of Nick, because once you take into consideration the size of Nick's channel, and the fact that people are spending hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on his gambling events and his merchandise, there is no way that a single person can handle all of his communications and that it's more likely to be a shared inbox where Nick and all of his moderators have access to, including Pat Flynn. More on him in a second, which you would think that there would be at least one other person within his company that would speak up about the emails. Now, Mary does go on to state that Danny was going to be at Card Party, which is ran by Pat Flynn, a.k.a. Deep Pocket Monster. And knowing that this event was going to be packed with children eager to meet PokeRev, Mary reached out to Card Party, and there was no response. Feeling hopeless, she posted a picture from Danny's conversations and urged the event to keep Danny away. Now, if these allegations are true, which I have no reason to doubt them, it means that Nicholas Margiotti and those around him are protecting a known predator, which is extremely messed up for obvious reasons, but also because of how many kids Nick and his team interact with. Also, Nick has a family of his own. So does he allow these people around his own kids? And it's been over a year since Michael and Ryan reached out to Mary, and I couldn't find anyone else talking about this. Meanwhile, Nick is still making videos with Danny, calling him a friend. I sent my friend Danny, a.k.a. Blastoise93, to card shops in Canada. Now, you would think that he would show some level of sympathy towards this issue by making a public statement or at the very least disassociating himself with Danny. Instead, he remains silent and continues to employ this creep, while those within his inner circle 
remain complicit. Now, Mary had stated that Danny knew her daughter was underage and in high school when all of this was going on. So there is no excuse for what he had done. But in the end, I hope that Danny finds himself behind bars. And I hope that Nick is legally held accountable because not saying anything at all while letting a predator use your name and company to take advantage of minors is just as bad as sending the messages. Because Nick, you are responsible for what your employees do when they are using your name inside of your Discord, your Instagram, YouTube, and any other time they are representing you. And the same goes for you, Pat Flynn, and every other creator in this space. There are way too many people wanting to leave the negativity at the door and remain complicit because it may be bad for business. But that's all I've got for now. I will catch all of you slow bros and ho's later. Bye.